Hi, I'm Divya and uh, I'm working with uh, Ratan Auto Trust, uh, one of the oldest philanthropic institution in India and I'm, I'm basically looking after the drinking water and sanitation portfolio of the Trust. Thank you. Okay, great. And um, can you please introduce yourself as well? Yeah, my name is Vinod. I also work for the Sir Ratan Auto Trust, one of the oldest philanthropy professionally managed trusts in India. Where, where do you work on what kind of yeah, projects? Actually, I look after yeah. the mountain region initiatives and uh, mainly focusing on the water supply and sanitation and all the portfolios also, but my key interest is the water supply. Okay, and um, I mean most people know Tata because it's a huge, I guess, uh, conglomerate of different organizations, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, what, what, are, what, what are some of the things that you do? I mean, what differentiates you from the rest of Tata? Okay, uh, um, if you see the Tata as a um, has a two identities. One is the corporate house, and second is as a philanthropic institutions. I think uh, one can imagine that the Sarata Tata Trust was established in 1919 by the son of Jamshedji Tata, and in his will, uh, at the age of 43, he died, and in his will, he mentioned that the his uh, his uh, wealth can be should be utilized for the uh, human well-being, disaster mitigation and education of the people. So I think uh, one can imagine that the 100 years back this kind of uh, thought process has been incubated which has been now carried on even if I think after 100 years. So that makes a so, Sarathan Tata Trust is a bit different from the other Tata Okay, companies. Great. And what, what is the scale of, of your work? Um, so you've mentioned the work you've done in the mountain region. What's some of the other work uh, that you're doing? Yeah, definitely water is one of the key portfolio we have, but definitely we... How big is it? Yeah, uh, in terms of uh, numbers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Annual uh, figure would be around, say, around uh, uh, 30 million rupees. Okay, and in terms of people? In terms of people, I mean, so far we have covered more than 100 villages in the Himalayan states, you know. And uh, we are working for the last 10 years. And, if, and definitely we have other areas we are working on. So Divyan can uh, okay. on this. Yeah, yeah Divyan, what, what are some of the new ideas? Okay, uh, the new ideas means as we have gathered the enough uh, learnings in the drinking water sector, the new ideas is on now looking at the household level issues and mm. looking at mainly how the people are handling the drinking water, which generally have a major uh, issues mean point of use con con contamination so looking at the household level interventions along with the community level institution is one of the new ideas with us uh, basically promoting a low cost uh, technological interventions which can be then affordable and uh, you know acceptable by the rural community so that is one of the major focus which we look at the second focus is on then the looking at integration and synergizing the various efforts by the government by the non government organizations and various funding organizations who are really willing to work uh, in the drinking water sector in the rural area areas in, uh, in India or any other country. So we generally try to pull out the resources from various sources being uh, include government and the non-profit non organizations and then try to put those investment into a, in a drinking water, sanitation and hygiene activities so that can be having a improved livelihood as well as the improved health to the communities. Great. So one last question. Uh, when we spoke earlier, uh, some of the work that you mentioned sounded quite operational. So is uh, the Tata Trust both implementing projects and as well as uh, funding them? Or? Yeah, mainly, mainly I'm aware that Tata Trust is not in the direct implementation of the program. Okay, but, you know, through we, partners. Yeah, through partners we implement the program. At the same time, we are providing uh, sometimes a hand-on support and very close monitoring. And because you know, okay. and developing the institution, which is you know making the project very unique and sustainable. That is the key strength of our own programs. And we have you know we have various case studies you know which uh, which is you know very unique in itself. You know because you know all the institution is managed by the community itself. It's a participatory kind of approach. So that yeah. makes us you know Great. very unique. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.